Hello, good morning. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As we are discussing the thanatology, and this is the fourth lecture uh, of this series. And the learning objective of this lecture will be that I will be discussing in this lecture the factors influence the rate of the body. There are certain factors within the body, and there are certain factors which are outside the body. The factors within the body, like the temperature of the body, the body size factor, nutrition, presence of clothing, and the manner and mode of death. And the factors which are outside the uh, body, they are the environmental factors, location where the body is located, the presence of humidity, and the environmental temperature. So st starting with the uh, lecture, factors influencing the rate of cooling. They are the factors either within the body or the factors outside the body. Factors within the body, they are the body temperature at the time of death, then the body size factor and the state of nutrition of the body and the presence of clothing or absence of clothing and then the mode or the manner of death. And the Factors outside the body, they are the location of the body and the movement of air or the ventilation and the body is in closed environment or present in an open field. Then the humidity of the environment and the environmental temperature. So these are the most important factors which are responsible for affecting the rate of cooling. Now about the body temperature, it should be kept in mind while calculating the temperature that normally it is assumed that body is at normal temperature of death. Whereas this can be subnormal, this can be above normal. For example, the victim, if it is exposed to extreme cold, the victim may be having hypothermia before death. And if the death is due to congestive cardiac failure, excessive hemorrhage, secondary shock, then the body temperature in these conditions is also subnormal. Whereas in some conditions or in some time, the body temperature could be raised at the time of death, like infections, pontine hemorrhage, heat stroke, and asphyxial death, or any condition which lead to prolonged agonal period. So in these situations, the body temperature at the time of death is raised than normal. Then in deaths due to fulminant infection, septicemia, the body temperature may continue to rise even after death for several times, for several hours. So while calculating the postmortem period from the rate of cooling, all these possibilities should be kept in mind. This is a picture or graph showing various situations we can see the temperature sometimes is be below normal and sometimes it is higher than normal. So these are various situations where the temperature can vary from the normal. Now about the body size factor, the effect of size has been as assessed by examining the cooling of different bodies in the same environment. Experimentally, it has been studied. And from the point of view of the cooling, the size of the body is best expressed as the ratio of the surface area to the body mass. And it has been seen that this is the size, size factor which can play an important role in cooling. So the effect will be greater on thin body. Now about the state of nutrition and development. The small body, they cool early, and the large body, they cool slow. So depending upon the mass and the surface area. Cooling in large body is relatively slow because of more fat, which is a poor conductor of heat. So the fatty body, on the one end, their surface area is becoming more, and the second is that there is subcutaneous fat is more, which is having an insulating effect. Therefore, the body of a child cools rapidly than that of the adult. Now about the presence of clothing, the presence of clothing, if the clothes are there, 
the cooling rate is slower. And in absence of clothing, the cooling rate will be faster. The effect of cooling in the presence of cooling is that the rate of fall of the rectal temperature is about 66% higher than that of the naked body. That means the temperature of fall in a clothed body, it has been seen experimentally, will be 66% slower than the naked body. Now about the mode or the manner of death, if the glycogen content of the muscle has been exhausted by the muscle activity immediately before death, then the heat production by anaerobic glycogenolysis during the stage of molecular death will be minimal. And if the death is due to hemorrhage, it causes loss of body heat immediately prior to death. So in this situation, the body will cool early. So heat loss is slower in also in chronic bacterial diseases. Whereas heat loss is faster in wasting diseases. Now about the location of the body. That the body is, if it is present in an open area where there is free access of air, and it will promote convection, convection method. Normally in dead body, the conduction that on the surface where the body is lying, that is plays more important role. But when the air current is moving, then convection also become the method of cooling and there will be rapid cooling. So inside the room, as there is no excess of air, then the rate of cooling will be slower. So if the body is present in fluid medium, water, as you know, the best conductor of heat than the air. So the rate of cooling of bodies is much rapid in bodies than they are exposed to the air in water. So as compared, if the bodies are in air and if they are in water, the water in water, the heat loss will be more rapid. Then the temperature of fluid is also important. If the body is cold water, the cooling will be slower. And if it is hot water, cooling will be slower. In cold water, the cooling will be rapid, sorry. And in hot water, it will be slower. Then about the nature of the fluid, that it is dirty water, fresh water. In dirty, that is sewage water, the cooling will be slower because it is warmer. Whereas fresh water, the cooling will be rapid. And in sea water also, the cooling will be rapid. Then the flow of the fluid. In the running water, the cooling will be rapid because in running water, the body is constantly changing its position, rolling, and then the uh, heat loss will be rapid. In stagnant water, when the body is stagnant also, and the cooling will be slow. Now about the humidity, as the moist air also is a better conductor than the dry air. So when the humidity is more, the heat loss will be rapid. And in dry air, there will be less cooling. The environmental temperature also plays an important role as the rate of cooling depend upon the difference of the body temperature and the environmental temperature. And when the environment temperature and body temperature, the difference is higher than the rate of uh, heat loss will be rapid. But if the environmental temperature is high, then the difference between the body temperature and environment temperature will be less and heat loss will be slower. As in our country, this parameter, the turning time since death, is not helpful in summers. It only helps in winter because in summers, as we know, the temperature rises 45 to 50 degrees Celsius in summer. So instead of cooling, the body can uh, gain heat from the environment. But in winters, it is helpful. The postmortem caloricity or gaining heat, it is a condition in which instead of cooling, the body gains heat. But there are certain conditions, instead of losing heat, body gains heat. Like environmental temperature, when it is high, it will be uh, imparting temperature to the body, and body temperature can rise septicemia. So 
So these are the conditions in which the body temperature continue to rise for several hours after death. There are other conditions which uh, raises the temperature. They are uh, high grade fevers, sunstroke, pontine hemorrhage, encephalitis, lobar pneumonia, typhoid fever, strychnine poisoning, tetanus, and many other diseases which have infections, they can raise the temperature. They raise the temperature that is post-mortem caloricity. So thank you very much. We have learned the factors affecting the rate of cold. Take care. Bye-bye. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And my channel name is Dr. Javed. Thank you very much.